On behalf of the Honorable Barbara M. Barrett, Secretary of the Air Force, welcome to your United States Air Force Academy and the combined Superintendent's Change of Command and Retirement Ceremony honoring Departing Superintendent Lieutenant General Jay Silverio and incoming Superintendent Lieutenant General Richard Clark. USAFA provides a world-class education, developing future leaders to think and act boldly. An institute of empowerment, developing inclusive and open-minded leaders able to affect change producing leaders with enthusiasm, who enjoy challenge, who dare to take smart risk, who are excited with the opportunity to lead and drive change. And I'm confident that Rich Clark will carry forward the excellence in education, empowerment, and enthusiasm that Jay has made the USAFA standard. The Air Force Academy is no stranger to space. The United States Air Force Academy established the Department of Astronautics in 1958. 42 NASA astronauts once walked across the terrazzo. But with an eye to the future, General Severia took action, ensuring the Academy provides an educational foundation for enduring advantages in space. Rich, you have the initiative, the character, and the intellect to develop the bold officers we need to fight and win to meet the national defense strategy. You are the perfect leader for this job to serve as the 21st United States Air Force Academy Superintendent. Lieutenant General Jay Silveria has been educating and molding the future of our Air Force. A tremendous leader, General Clark has experience that has been acquired over four continents over his three decades of service. His career is legendary. Thank you. Congratulations. Rich, you epitomize integrity, service, and excellence throughout your career, and now you will instill those fundamental values into future Air and Space Force officers. We are deeply grateful for your leadership, and we thank you. 38 years ago, I stepped onto this field as a freshman on the Falcon varsity football team as we logged our first victory of the season. That day was significant because it was the beginning of my journey with a team that taught me to fight and win, and that shaped me as a leader and a man. Today, as I step on this field once again, it is significant because I am honored and privileged by the opportunity to give something back to the school that has given me so much. And it is my goal to prepare every cadet to make their dreams come true, just as my dream is coming true today. It will be my greatest honor to help you achieve your dreams as you continue to fight to join the long blue line. Always remember the age old adage, tough times don't last, tough people do. I'm proud of you, I'm here for you, and I promise that I will leave it on the field for you. Let's do this.